director C.J. Obasi. Shot entirely in black and white, it's a creative reimagination of the mythology of a mermaid goddess of West African folklore. The dialogue is in pidgin English with subtitles. The film has been entered by Nigeria for consideration in the 2024 Oscars International Feature Film category. It's the first ever pidgin English movie to be put forward for the award. The BBC's Wahiga Mwawara spoke to the director. Zimwe, make we go out. Our people, they need you for dear. We submitted to the Nigerian Oscar Selection Committee, NOSC, and they went through their process and look at all the submissions and then they make selections based off of the film that best meets the criteria and then they take a vote um, and Mami Wata emerged as the, the film with the, I guess, highest number of votes. Well, congratulations. What prompted or inspired you to do this film? What's the backstory? I would say a need to see a new kind of um, African cinema. It's a very specific visual language. Um, it's a very specific narrative about our spirituality, about our culture, um, about our tradition, and uh, also a very specific perspective as far as how um, we depict the things that have been, in, in many, many decades, been demonized about our cultural practices and about our belief systems. For those who may not be familiar with uh, the subject matter uh, and of course the history around that in West Africa, what does Mami Water symbolize in this film? Mami Water is the mermaid deity of West African um, tradition. Even though she's specifically rooted in West Africa, it also transcends West Africa um, in that you can find belief systems around Mami Water in Central Africa. Um, in the Caribbean, in this, you know, the, the Americas, basically. It is a, a spiritual belief system that, that is also a religion as well. Did you see the tent on reach? The tent on reach! The tent on reach! In Nigeria, we are divided along, along the lines, the Christian and the Islamic lines, and we had um, a lot of pushback, um, very severe pushback just even saying that we wanted to make a film about Mami Water, even without them knowing the approach. Um, just the name Mami Water was um, extremely controversial. And so I've always had an issue with that. And that alone was enough motivation to, to keep going. Well, this film was in black and white. Very interesting. Why is that? I always saw the film in black and white, and I've never been able to see it in color. Black and white allowed us to really push boundaries as far as the aesthetics or as far as expectations and, and what people say you can do with dark skin and with um, dark skin uh, at night especially. There's a symbol behind putting or centering the dark skin in the narrative and having them envisioned as you know these multi-dimensional characters, gods and creatures with complexity rather than just um, very one-dimensional depictions of uh, or caricature characters as we've often seen in various depictions of African cinema. I want us to also focus on Nigeria's film industry and specifically the rising uh, film standards. Who or what would you say is behind this? Is it an individual? Is there something that's been happening that's led to what we are seeing right now? It's a lot of people who have been working behind the scenes, um, but there's also very specific filmmakers um, who want to tell a certain kind of story or who have a specific visual language. I guess you would say the politics behind it is to show that there is a new way of telling stories and putting a new image in front of people, images that haven't been seen a certain way, um, but that is very much rooted in our identity, very much rooted in who we are, and is not ashamed to turn away from our individuality. Well, as you await the next possible steps of this Oscar journey, do you think these awards still remain very Western-centric? Oh, absolutely. It was created for the West. Um, but the thing about cinema is that cinema knows no boundaries. Cinema taps into the shared human experience, I would say, more than any other art form. Um, I think I have a strong audience or I have the potential to reach a strong audience in Nigeria because I do make my films to be accessible for everyone.